second episode with you know who the brother one, the Supreme Commander, the main wings, and he's a guest right now. Uh, his name is Cedric. Cedric, how's the chicken? Good evening to all the viewers of my YouTube account. This is the Brutal One, Rolando Alejandro Zamora, and second episode for the one on one with the Brutal One, that's me. The city of San Juan, still number uno. Uh, it's not a wrestler, it's a fan that i known him since last year, yes. And he's 10 years younger than I am, believe it or not. Well, I love that shit. We're gonna proceed with our guest, and his name is Cedric Salisi. So, cameraman, shwoo! Alright, here we go at the main base, the Baguio San Juan, and then right now I'm chit chatting with Cedric Salisi. Tama ba ang pangalan mo, boy? Yeah, you got it right. I'm impressed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm impressed. So uh, a lot of a, a lot of the guys usually mispronounce my name, but you got it right. So thanks, man. Mm hmm. Okay, I had to increase a little bit of the volume to ensure we got it all right up in here and make ourselves feel at home, boy. All right. Now the video recording still continues, mm -hmm. and then there you go. So musta kana just sa Batangas, boy. Yeah, it's been like a rough two to three months now. I've been home for more than three months and fortunately I cannot go from uh, work from home as uh, my employer had offered me to do. But yeah, I, I would rather um, not risk my job and try to work uh, on the office instead. Mm, which it did work, right? Mm, somehow... Um, Hindi pa kasi, no work, no pay kasi eh. So, sadly, I understand you had to no, do what it takes. No budget it, somehow. Mm, you had to do whatever it takes even though the risk is always been there. No matter you want to be safety. Hindi biro na yan. Uh, it happens to everyone. It doesn't matter what standing are you rich, middle class, poor, whatsoever. Eh, kailangan mag, ano, mag work in order for you to get some, you know, Earnings and possibly some stuff Shame. like that, income like that. Anyway, uh, let's proceed with this uh, question of mine. Kailan ka nagsimula naging isang professional wrestling fan uh, in any given capacity? Okay, so blurry yung memory ko nun, but if I do understand correctly, the first time I've watched wrestling was the six man Hell in a Cell match. Back at Armageddon 2000. Ooh. I mean, that's an odd way to start <laughs> your wrestling fandom. I think I was like five or six. I am 26, turning 27 this July. Mm, okay. Pero so, swear to mo, yan lang yung only six-man Hell in Cell match sa kasaysayan ng WWE at wala nang iba. You have to agree with me over that one. Anyway, ever Correct. since then, uh, how many years yeah. <laughs> nag-watch ka ng WWE before nag-stop ka ulit? Oh, nag-stop ka for the first time, actually? Well, the first time that I officially watched uh, WWE programming was back in 2003, where the Ruthless Aggression era, uh, era began. So, I've stopped, well, sa totoo lang, nag-stop ako mag-watch ng wrestling la, um, around 2008. Kasagsaga ng WrestleMania 24, 25-ish. And then, nag-return ako ng manood ng wrestling um, in time of the 20th anniversary of WrestleMania. The 20th the time, anniversary of WrestleMania? Um, or 25th? 25th. 25th ah, yes. The one with 25th. the greatest wrestling match of all time, HBK Taker. Tama ba? Yeah. I would consider that as a res uh, greatest wrestling match. I wasn't able to watch yet. Edge versus Orton at Backlash, but 
once na magkaroon na kami ng power <laughs> na maayos, um, I think I will be able to binge watch that. Okay, sa lahat ng mga professional wrestlers, it doesn't matter kung sa WWE, WCW, or any promotion, yung mga legends, we're talking about, who is the greatest legend part sa iyo, if possible? Hmm, that's kind of a toss-up, to be quite honest. But uh, for me, I would say the greatest character ever been created, whether we admit it or not, is The Undertaker. Oh, so, Aurin, um, Aurin. The Undertaker, yeah. I, I think Undertaker um, mystique and persona is so unique that we hadn't seen that gimmick flourish and we've seen that flourish all over the years. Um, the character through the, um, the Lord of Darkness, the Attitude Era, the Ministry of Darkness, and going to the American Badass and, and then going reverting back to the original Undertaker. I think um, his character, even with um, Magritar Sha, even if he retires, he would still live on the hearts of wrestling fans. Not just for me, but all over the uh, the fan base. Mm. Well, time for me to explain my part on how long I've, I've known the Undertaker. I've known the Phenom before you even born. Take my word for it. Uh, I'm 37 years old, which yeah. means 10 years older sa yo. <laughs> that means that that means you have experienced literally the decade of destruction. Yon, yon, and that's something that I believe you should be proud of. Well, ito nang yar to. Uh, I will explain this on the part, okay? Uh, let's see, 1991 mm-hmm. or 1992. Survivor Series, 1991, yes. Uh, that's where um, Taker kicked Hogan's ass and defeats him for the WWE title, his first title uh, reign, perhaps. A uh, bit of a controversy because of Ric Flair, mm-hmm. something na at the time wala akong na-recall kung paano nangyari. And then, it would take mm-hmm. years later na panood ko yung VCD version of Tombstone, The History of the Undertaker. Remember, may VCD mga WWE Which? at the time. Which, uh, funny that you say that, I actually have that copy in my hard drive and if um, wala talaga ako magawa, I usually binge watch that. <laughs> I have some of my favorite matches of that too. Uh, now, let's mm. get it on with this. Um, we watch with The Undertaker um, and Hulk Hogan stuff and Macho Man and Ultimate Warriors like that, WrestleMania's. Uh, medyo matagal na nasa IBC 13 yun eh. Noong ano, grade 1 na pa lang ako. Siguro uh, uh, before mag grade 2. And then bigla na stop ako watching wrestling like maybe a couple years kasi walang ano, sources whatsoever. O bigla na wala yung hili ko. Mm-hmm. Iba yung ano like that. And then l- sometime in 1998 uh, separately I see some Raw is war stuff, and I'm not so sure King of the Ring or what. But it was on 1999, full force na ako muli. Uh, during the Star TV era Ayun sa na. WWE, este, WWF. Uh, mayroon pa naman isang Chinese na nag-host doon like that, if you could still recall it. <laughs> hmm. And yes, I did not put yung Lord of the Darkness na Undertaker. Yung second version, este, Minister of Darkness na Taker. And then the way he formed the Minister of Darkness. And then he formed a tag team with the Big Show and etc. 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 And then after that, si American Badass, si Big Evil, bumalik niya naman sa roots niya, parang hybrid ng ano, old school taker at American Badass na personas. And the rest is history. <laughs> well, yeah. Mag- well, you kind of si- miss out the the corporate ministry. The corporate, the corporate ministry, ministry you kind of miss yes. that one. Pero mal mal malupit rin. Listen, listen here, Cedric. I have mm. WWE hardcover na books, okay? Um, let me see. Res- okay. WWE at 50, that's one, and the 30 years of WrestleMania. And believe it or not, maniniwala ka ba sa akin mm. na sasabihin ko sa'yo, mayroon akong mga collection ng WWE magazines. Uh, may ilan dyan mula kay Undertaker? Maniniwala ako. I would believe that. Because uh, uh, as I've uh, listened to you 
when uh, PWR Live usually is um, uh, on the Makati area, it's like... Ah, yes, the MCS day? Man, is it? ato, magkakasundo. No, um, it's actually at the Makat um, Paramac. Ito, like, when I'm uh, started watching uh, PWR officially, back in January 2019. So, ah, I think for me, it's the best decision. Okay, before that one, oh, um, oh. what what got you into PWR? I'm curious. I mean, medyo like lang nagsimula, diba? Well, we'll explain to you. After sayo, I explain my part, okay? Proceed. Okay, so originally, um, PWR for me, I originally um, uh, started watching it when it was on the internet. Uh, I think um, they have these live specials in TV5 or Sports 5, if I'm not mistaken. And that's the time that I've watched, like, um, uh, Mayhem Brannigan, um, Ken Warren, Chris Panzer, and then the main event, which is who, sh- um, who that's shall brand not name Classical uh, versus, Brian Leo uh, and Chick DeLeon, tama ba? Yeah, Classical Brian Leo. Yeah, alam ko, yeah, napaka malaking then, controversial yung tao pa- So, bro, we, ano, tuloy mo. I'll explain, uh, yeah, talk about uh, that one later. Yeah. Now, on the other side of things, um, there was the first APCC. I believe that was in 2016 or 17. 16. Yeah. I, 16. Yon, 16. Yan yung pagkatapos yung Revolution I X. I dressed as Finn Balor. Yeah, I dressed as Finn Balor at that time. Ah. And uh, I was uh, chatting this with my friends, uh, the wrestling buddies, shout out, um, that I was the the topless Finn Balor. And they couldn't believe it because I stayed on the SMX uh, venue for the whole entire event topless. And they couldn't believe it. Good and for then, you. Um, fast forward. Fast, fast forward, I've seen clips on uh, Facebook nung nagsashow na kayo sa, um, sa Paramax Center, sa 500 Shell Pavilion. So I thought to myself, what if um, I could watch it? So I plan plan ako. And then, my eye opener sa akin is during the Xavier Woods meet and greet. That's the time that I've seen. What year um, was that? Ken Warren and the rest of the PWA guys. That was 2018. Mm, uh, November, to be precise. Mm. Okay. okay. So after that, Jan, nakita ko na si Naglen and si Nalinus, um, and a bunch of the wrestling um, uh, on the wrestling community. And after that, I promised myself, you know, what if I would watch? Um, the PWR show and the first show was uh, New Year's Revolution and Year's Revolution enough, 2019 um, Fred yep um, probably the biggest pop is when ECX got the tap out when they retained the tag belts but um, and funnily enough yung college friend ko which is uh, Frederick Martin uh, Frederick Lumba sorry <laughs> um <laughs> He was on the same event, so I got shocked at that. So I think, para talagang um, with him and I, that we we started driving in on the world of wrestling, PWR, and then etc. And the rest is history. So when it came down to my PWR fandom, it all begins in August of 2015. Uh, the remaining portion of the MCS days there. Hmm. Uh, that was before the very, very first PWR Live that has the main event. Uh, Jake DeLeon, Classical, Brian Leo, uh, Part 2 ba to? Hmm. I don't think that's Part 2, but it looks to me two. like Part 3. Remember, PWR Renaissance main ah, okay. event, yung 2014, um, si ano, JDL, si Classical, Brian Leo, like that. Uh, obviously, JDL wins, mm-hmm. pero Brian Leo won a rematch, and Alam mo na yung the rest of the history. But may, may na kung shitty na feeling. May backstage na issues regarding yung main event ng Renaissance 2014. But we don't know it yet until the day we find out about it. 
and also the backstage uh, or behind the scenes of PWR during 2016 that involves classical Brian Leo and alam mo na yung, yung the rest of the story, di ba? Uh, eventually... Yeah, I've seen it. Classical Brian Leo is one of my favorites during the time. A perfect in-ring villain. I remember his signature insults like, You all are nothing but sons and daughters of fuck boxing jitney drivers! Have you recalled something like that before? Mm -hmm. Brutal. I remember... Ah, Heel na heel talaga. It worked. I even bought. I like that line. I even like his uh, signature catchphrase. One, two, three. Would you please look at me? For those of you who don't know, mm -hmm. you should know. Alam mo niyong sunod na linya, so we leave it behind that one. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> But still, favorite. We're gonna leave it there. Yeah, remember, I've been into their MCS shows, PWR Live and Renaissance 2015. Late ako dumating. Yung masyado kong ikinasasama ng loob, kalahati lang ng portion ng laban ni Bombay Suarez at Jan Sebastian yun ang panood ko, yung no-holds-barred match nila. Ang gusto ko ng sana sa PWR eh, kung mahanap nila yung lumang recording na yan, kapag kumpleto, post naman nila pang a little visit to the past. Kung posible. I would love to see this one. Like everyone else. Oh, baka. Sana. Sana. No matter what management was at the time. You had to cast aside your personal feelings and do the business. Simple as that. Hmm. Kasi para parte ng history, alam na natin. Para fair naman, di ba? Oh. Tapos, um, <laughs> I've been into their subsequent shows. From the I Academy, the very first one will have to be the last terminus that PW ever produced. That was the second one in 2015. Uh, Rod Mabayashi oh. dethrones classical brand Neo for his first PW title ring. The senior to Jack De Leon had outlasted eight other seven other competitors in the very very first uh, Path of Gold match. And guess what? He challenged oh. CBL. For the PWR title on Revolution X 2016, that also happens in I Academy. Before that one, uh, yung before Revolution X 20, um, 2016, uh, let's say, the sa ano, uh, yung unang ano, I Academy show we had to be PWR Vendetta. Mm -hmm. That was a February show at the time during yung ano or yung uh, first two years of PWR in its existence. And then, after... Mm -hmm. After Revolution X, ha? Let's say... Yung sunod show na, no? Siguro APCC. Kung hindi ako nakakamali, ha? Uh, two days ako doon, sa 2016. Na I noticed na... Wala do si Classical Brand Leo whatsoever. However, what I recall na oh. before yung APCC... You know already about the stories behind me, don't you? About me being part of the Yeah, show. I've actually heard it. I've actually heard it from the Wrestling Wrestling po uh, Podcast when they have the live uh, recording Sabar. I, I think I've watched, I've watched it multiple times that the controversy uh, involving Brian Leo and the PWR management, I, I think for me, it's just like, Man, what you're doing, you're talented. You should not be wasting, um, uh, not wasting time, but you'll have to give in to the business that made you who you are. Kasi napaka-ingrata mo naman, lalalo na, that you made your name in PWR and you jump shift to companies, some of it existed right now, and the other one got flanked out. And I think it's just the case-to-case -case basis of ego. Let's 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 not kid ourselves. Um, the professional wrestling business is all about ego. Ego. And it did exist. Me, it did exist from the very beginning. Believe it or not. And believe me, talagang I think um, nowadays, lalalo na ngayon sa panahong ito, ego must be put aside for the better part and for the bet uh, betterment of your roster and for the business the company. For the business in general, because if you would have these 
um, egotistical jerks. It's still a form of unprofessionalism, ah. Believe it or not. Oh, oh. Kaya, ano nga, nakaka-insult, nakaka-insulto as a wrestling fan kasi we're enjoying the product, but behind the scenes, there are some bullshits, sorry for the profanity, but uh, but there are some bullshits um, coming in and out of the open. At if this does not been remedied, nako, it would kill you. It would kill the promotion. It would kill the last seven years that you have been in the business. Seven and years? Throughout... Maybe uh, um, ano, over six years na yata, I think. Listen, um, I last... Pero, Hmm. Okay. I last learned about Brian Lewis' existence, yung sa bootcamp. Doon ko na siya yung pinakahuli kong nakita, believe it or not. I have a fun hmm. memories of that one. Probably you want to ask some of the guys or their um, partner. Remember who are my fellow batch six that definitely succeeded beyond expectations. Sa napakamadaling ano, panahon. Akala ko magba one year sila pero napaka... Galing nila. Napakatibay. Even Korean, even Evan, even the Kaka Ibros, both. Gatilio. And even Makata, who's no longer mm-hmm. pil- ano, I don't know, 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 I don't And then, tingo mi yung success nila, Kaka Ibros, yung Naughty Boys, PW Tag Team Champions is their respective timeline. That's, uh, yeah. Um, also, um, Yung reaction ko regarding December 14, 2016. Remember, yan yung announcement ng PWR? Regarding Brian Leo got released? Or should I say fired? And they explain everything in there. Dagdag pa kay Redrick Mahaba. Or the man behind the Redrick Mahaba character. And then, Wrestling Wrestling Podcast episode 147, doon na ng Bulgar. And the subsequent episodes, na Bulgar rin yung ilan. Especially, the highly controversial Batanes incident. It did happen yeah. right after I attend boot camp. I have no idea kung sinadya ba ni Brian Leo na, na, or b- the man behind the Brian Leo character behind the scenes, sinadya ba niya yung ginawa niya? Especially magbubuk ng one-way flight dahil government yung magbabayad sa kanila? I don't know. Ang hirap na ni. Eh. Eh, alam mo ba nung masaktong clap? Na ano yung prom, yung organizer yung event organizer alam mo na ba kung sino yun sa maniwala ko hindi yung eh. that's why there is a lot of controversy ah uh, sorry controversy behind that event kasi why in the hell does that government need to book a one way flight at hindi ka pa uuwiin ano to i mean this shit is gone like offhand. Allegations of over, ano, stealing the funds. Uh, ah? Narinig mo yun? Allegations stealing oh, from oh. the fund. Oh. Pero hindi Yung pa. Na, eh. Yung ang. Uh, go, go. And then, uh, Manila Madness. Have you heard the Manila Madness? That was right after PW Vendetta 2016. Hindi ko akala na hmm. 5 or 10 na. Nag-ate, mostly mga media men. Nag-ano, tawag nito, atin, eh, bad show daw. Given na uh, Tanduay Cover Court, if you know what I mean. Oh. Jesus. Kung curious ka, pakinggan mo muli yung, ano, yung ila sa mga wrestling wrestling podcast and all will be revealed there, especially episode 147. And yung so ni Rap Mabayashi regarding Batanes, na bulgar rin yan doon, big time. And this is something na uh, I find it not amusing. Not funny at all. Mm-hmm. Pero ito ha, uh, Cedric, pakinggan mo to. Pagdating sa mga okay. freedom organization, bakit sasama ka pa ng something na outside? In particular, family members mo, eh, sa inyo naman to, ba? May ko ba napansin dyan? Actually, uh, to be quite honest, hindi. It's like, the story got exploded, and then, as fans, we tried to piece up the missing pieces. Why? Uh, who did this? Who did that? There are some parts na, um, uh, yeah, the whole story has got blown up, 
to the point that um, names or um, uh, and dami ng issue both professionally and personally. Like I remember don sa ba, um don sa bar so munti ka na sila magkaroon ng alter uh, alter uh, parang beatdown between sa, uh, Brian Leo and JDL. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, ulit mo yung sinabi mo. Please. Yung ano to, yung nag-guesting siya sa rest, I think that's uh, episode 300. If um, my memory is correct. Para oh, bang... yung 300, yung ano, like na like siya, diba? I, I was like kind of there or what? Hmm. Yeah, nandun ka. Nandun ka. Hmm. Na, sinabi pa nga nila na, yun nga, your, your wedding was uh... Kumbaga, road to your wedding yet. By the way, congratulations. Uh, I was able to uh, congrats you even though months passed. Uh, that's okay, yeah. that's okay. Naiintindihan ko. Saka alam kong malayo ka. Kaya even though kung may bala kong mag-invite sa'yo, I think halata na inapaka-imposible, diba? Bro, if ever you have some um, commitments, if kaya ko, I'll be there for you. Mm. That's what I am all about. So, all right. You can count on much. It. Anyway, now, uh, continue the story as much as possible. Uh, yung tiba na mention, tiba yung, ano, yung, you mentioned about him slap the shit out of the man behind the JTL character. Yung ba yung sasabihin mo? Oo, na, na, magkaroon na lang sila ng altercation. Bu, buti na lang yung asawa at anak humarang kay Brian Leo. Kung hindi sila humarang doon, malamang papatay ni si Brandy dahil oh, oh. sabi natin na puluhan na sila you. talagang galit na galit na dahil sa ginawa niya pero okay na yung asaw niya nahanga ako ah pero do you think that was a right thing to do on her part if possible parang uh, if I was the wife sabi ko hindi ko itotolere yung mga maling ginawa mo so you have to be accountable on everything that you have done wrong to the people who made you. Para bang utang na loob mo na yun eh. And that's the sick part. And um, alam ko, Brian Leo is a fantastic character. Oh, I have to agree. Ego, okay, yung ano yung character niya. Pero pag backstage you sample or the man behind that one, may mga party na hindi natin alam. Isa-isa na bubulgar lahat. And then, it would oh, take oh. years. It would take years na lam natin yung isang secreto. Yung original na behind the scenes of PWR in 2014. Mm, yes. It has something to do with and Manila Wrestling still. Federation and their existence. And we don't know it yet until 2018. Now, let's go to the subject of Manila Wrestling Federation, shall we? Mm-hmm. Mm, how long... How, when do you discover that one? And when do you decide to watch one of their shows? Hmm. The first and only time that I've watched it was during uh, Tajiri's first appearance in MWF. Now, the reason why I wasn't able to watch MWF is because of the location. Sobrang ang hirap accessible. Lalalo na for me that I live in Batangas and the only places that I could go is Makati or if possible may lalakarin within uh, Shaw Boulevard, Ortigas, fine, okay lang. Pero, um, thank God, they have uh, done that uh, event. Unfortunately, hindi ko natapos yung show kasi super late na and I got to catch a bus which apparently I had to wait two hours before nakasakay ng bus going back to Batangas. Hmm, which I, is, don't blame you. I don't blame you. You had to do what was necessary in order to survive. In order for you to Oo, get out pero, pero ang thankful talaga ako kasi nakilala ko si Blackzilla, Chili Willy. Yun, yun, okay. yun. Uh, I've, I've met Tajiri. I have Jiri. met um, uh, the first MWF uh, female referee, Rosita Rosales. Uh, Rosales. We all know her real name, mm-hmm. so we're not gonna... Yeah, well, her, we're right? not gonna disclose that. And um, some of the great dudes right there, and uh, I think, uh, parang ang hap- happy ko lang is um, we have a competitive wrestling uh, promotions that are um, trying to make the business work, even though in a local scene. Because let's admit it, 
Philip Philippine wrestling, it's not common unlike basketball, boxing. Uh, sabi natin hindi um, pa masyadong umabot to the point of being mainstream kasi still independent Correct. promotion. Tama? Hindi pa siya major. It would take years Uh-oh. na maging major player ang PWR kasi they've been around for over six years already, okay? Over six years na. Uh, okay, nagsimula okay. talaga sila mga 2013 pero mga foundations pa lang yan. Pero pag ako masusunod, Pag training ng first batch, it would have to lasted mga one year para ma-perfect mo yung crap. Hindi ka na kaagad mag ano, mag-start ng show na 50% below. It's very risky to be honest. I learned something a lot of it. Um, for example, yung isa sa mga episode ni Chili Willy, yung regarding his role in the already no longer function Art of War Wrestling. You know that. Aha. Uh-huh. What? <laughs> yeah, I've heard about it. Mm-hmm. Anyway, mm, before we go over there, we just gonna take a short break. But when we return, we will continue the your association with the Philippine wrestling community and some stuff. All right, be right yeah, back after go. this. Walang kwenta na messages.